You guys, it's Persale Friday! Hi guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. I am a full-time reseller and it is another Persale Friday. So not only are we gonna be selling purses today, we're also gonna be selling some shoes and going through an America's Thrift Supply five-piece mystery purse box. Okay, so if you're interested in anything you see in the video, please email me email only. I do not take requests in the comment sec section. So please email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com. All my information is right under the video in the description box. You just have to open it up by clicking more or maybe three dots or a downwards arrow to open up the description box and all my information is there. Um, please give me a timestamp and a brief description of what you're looking to purchase in the email so I make sure I invoice you correctly. Um, prices do not include shipping. Shipping's based on the weight of the items, your location from mine, I'm in New York, and good old USPS pricing, and I can also use UPS. So, um, also, I will keep a sold list down in the comment section, so just scroll up on the video where you see everybody's comments, and it will be the first comment pinned in the comment section so you can see what has been sold before you email me. When you're done watching the video, please refresh it, click out, go back in, and you'll be able to see the most up-to-date sold list because I will be updating it with every sale. So. With that being said, let's get on to it. We are going to start with the clearance section, which is the last week's purses that didn't sell. And we're gonna drop them from five, 10, 15, sometimes $20. So let's start with the Fossil Black Leather, Pebbled Black Leather Purse, nice long double handles. It is a slouchy style purse. It is very nice, it is in very good condition. Um, the corners and the bottom are very nice. Um, it has the, the stitching down on both sides. You have the cinched opening with a snap closure. You can open it up more like so. And the interior is black. You have your fossil with the zipper right here and slip. Okay, nice and clean. Nice condition used purse, and we're going to drop this one to $30. Okay, next up we had the brown leather by The Find, and it is a really unique style purse. It is like a medium to large style. You have all of these zipper pockets. I did get my nails done, Valentine's Day. <laughs> So all of these pockets on the sides are zippered and they do work. You can put stuff in them. So the front looks like so. You can adjust the straps a little bit shorter and a little bit longer. Okay, and then the bottom and the corners are in very good condition. Handles are great. And you have this clip with the flap opening. So you just unclip it. Okay, open the flap, and then you have your interior. So there's your interior. Nice and clean. Zipper pocket there. Slips there. So for this one, we're going to drop it to $40. All right, and next up we had the sack leather. This is a nice shoulder bag. It is black leather with these little rings here on the side that say the sack. It is in very good condition. Nice little shoulder bag. Great strap. You have a zipper closure and your interior is clean, black. The sack matches my nails, zipper, and slips over there. So for this one, we're dropping it to $30. All right, then we had the sack roots. And just remember guys, I go through the clearance section purses a little bit faster than normal because they have been shown already. So if you need to see them in more detail, please check out last week's video. Um, so this one is kind of like a Aztec boho 
um, print and it's got like that coated canvas material, really great to keep clean, just wipe it down. You have a big snap pocket in the front. You have a zipper pocket in the back. This one is in excellent condition as well. Very, very minor, I, if anywhere at all. Nice, long um, leather handles, double handles. You have a zipper closure. And then your interior, nice, big and clean sack roots with your zipper and your slips. So a nice tote style um, purse, and we're going to drop this one to $30 as well. Next up, we have the Tianello. This is the red pebbled leather. It is a dark red, like a brick red. Um, it has the double handles that you can adjust a little bit smaller or a little bit larger. It does have a back zipper pocket. This one is in excellent condition. All right, you have the opening, which is magnetic. And then you have this um, snap here that you can cinch the purse in if you would like. And your interior is black and clean. Tianello with the zipper slips there. So overall, really nice, medium size. And we're going to do this one for $30 as well. Okay, next up we had the Vintage Woven. This one um, is not branded. It has a nice long woven handle that can be a um, longer shoulder bag or crossbody. It is kind of a large size. Um, it is in excellent condition. It's kind of like a brown bronze color. It's got a nice big tassel. I do believe it is leather, even though there are no tags on the interior. Very, very nice condition. Button uh, snap closure. The strap is removable in case you wanted to carry it as a clutch. And nice blue suede interior with a zipper pocket and slips there. So super cool. And we're gonna drop this one to $25. Then we have the, where are we? All the way up here. The Inu, or Inu, it's I-N-N-E-U. And this one is gorgeous. It is a black, super buttery soft leather. You have the uh, calf hair on the front, which is in excellent condition. You have a nice big pocket here on the front for your phone or your keys okay it is in excellent condition on the corners and the bottom you can adjust the handle a little bit uh, with these you can take the take these unsnap these and adjust it and the handles are in great condition it is a zipper closure I gotta, th I gotta throw my stuffing far because we got a lot of stuffing in today's haul <laughs> So the interior is black with the um, uh, branding all over it. Then you have, it's made in Italy and it is a zipper pocket right there and your slips there. Really nice bag, uh, medium to large size and we're going to drop this one to $40. Okay, next up we had the Stone Mountain. So this I grabbed, if you remember my bag sale, um, I did a short um, showing you guys this. I do do short videos now, so um, when you go to my main YouTube page, there should be a category for shorts, and I do like uh, 15 to 60 second videos, uh, mainly like if I'm in the thrift store and I wanna show you guys something, or I do like a little quick lesson of uh, teaching you guys about something, so definitely check those out. I hope that they're a lot of fun. So this is just a red leather, nice um, crossbody bag. Perfect size for your essentials. Stone Mountain right there. Excellent condition. There was a little mark right there. And on the other side, 
it's a little fuzzy. It's like, it's like in the seam, I'll get it. Um, and a little spot right there. The male lady is here, so da and Dallas is outside, so he's barking. So you have the um, pocket here. You have a zipper closure on top, zipper inside. All right, so for this one, for this one we are going to do $10. Oh, she has to come to the door. Dallas is gonna go crazy. All right, next up we had, let me grab them. We had the duffels. So we had the lug. This one is really, really big. Um, it had a lot of pockets. Um, you have zipper pocket here, here, and here. You have a pouch pocket here. You have a zipper pocket up here. You have a spot for your luggage here. You have a zipper pocket here. You have a water bottle pocket here and a regular pocket. On this side, you had that po pocket that opens with the mesh. And then on the inside, the zipper closure, you have pouch pockets over there and a zipper pocket up there. So for this ginormous weekender bag, we're dropping it from the lug, we're dropping it to $40. All right, and there was just one mark on the bottom right there. Okay, so let's put that one back where we got it, over here. And then the other large one was the La Sport sack. Okay, nice like uh, retro floral print. Zipper pocket along the front, zipper pocket here, zipper pocket here, zipper pocket here. <laughs> nice on the bottom, nice overall. You have, this one comes with the shoulder strap and then your interior. This one I had to stuff because it didn't really hold its shape like the lug. All right, so the interior is white and there was a little bit of discoloration, but overall not bad. Okay, so this one we are going to drop to $35. Okay, then we had this one. So this is called the Cure Rose. So I did have somebody interested in this purse last, I think it was two weeks ago. They kept emailing me back and forth, so I kept, you know, I didn't offer it to anybody else. And then I sent them an invoice, and then I didn't hear from them. I reached out to them, no answer. I sent them a reminder invoice, no answer. So I canceled the invoice, and here it is. So this is a genuine leather crossbody bag. You can make it a little bit smaller to be shoulder. It is pink and gray. It is a little bit structured. It is in very good condition. You got the little tassel here. You open it up, you have a little front pocket. And then your interior is a zipper closure. And you have a zipper pocket there and slip pockets. So this is made in Italy. The branding is right there. Okay, it is in very good condition. And we are dropping this one to $30. Just remember, keep in mind, guys, if you ghost, um, that's not really a good look. I do note your name down. Um, and if it's like, if it happens twice, mm -mm. okay, just keep in mind, like other people do, um, are looking into the same purses. So if I'm holding an item, you know, for your response, please let me know if you cancel or if you change your mind, that is no problem at all. I would rather you be honest with me and be in communication than just completely leave me hanging. So that's not fair to myself or other people that are interested in the purse. Okay, so let's keep going. And the next one we had was the blue Vera Bradley little wristlet, actually a big wristlet. It is um, faux leather, I believe. It is in such excellent condition. I'm not even sure anybody has even wore it or used it. You open up the front pouch here. You have a whole bunch of card slots. 
And then the other section is zippered. Okay, so you have some card slots, a zipper pocket, and then more slots over there. So for this one, we are dropping to $15. Alrighty, next up we have the Victoria's Secret pouch, which was the purple cheetah print. Excellent condition, perfect for makeup or toiletries. Nice plaque on the front. And um, it was in very excellent condition. And the interior has a zipper pocket. Okay, so for this one, we're going to drop it to $10. All right, so uh, now we have the coach wristlets. So we have the brown ones. So this is the brown fabric with the leather coach wristlet. And Okay, so you have this one. It's in very good condition, minimal wear, and we're going to drop it to $10. Then we had the gold leather wristlet by Coach. This one is in good condition. There was just two scratches here on the front, and your interior is pink. And for this one, we're going to drop to $8. Alrighty, and then, okay, so if you guys missed, or if you saw it, um, I did a Harley Davidson video er, earlier this week, and I just wanted to offer, I do still have items left from that um, haul, so if you want to check the video out, I'll link it up here, if I remember. You can check out, I do still have a lot of items left from the video. Um, I wanted to bring one to this uh, video to show you guys. This was the women's purple Harley zip-up hoodie, and it is a size 2XL in women's. Okay, it's in very good condition. It's just that the string, it has, you know, is gone. And it says over here, Rocket Harley Davidson, Huntsville, Alabama. And then the back is really cool. It has the angel wings. All right, so for this one, we're, I'm dropping it to $20. All right, and then I do still have a lot of other pieces available if you check the video out. And then, okay, so let's flip the page. And that wraps up the clearance section. So let's get into the thrifted purse section. I do have quite a few that are my favorites. Um, I also did a short regarding um, a couple of the items that I had hauled for this video, so I'm excited to show you guys. And um, then we're gonna go into some shoes, and then we're gonna open the America's Thrift Supply Box. Okay, so first up is a Coach, and this is a Coach belt bag, or fanny pack, as I called it back in the day. Um, you have your little hang tag, it is a beige and brown with like a beige leather trim. You have a nice slip pocket on the back. Magnet snaps here, pocket here on the front. And then inside you have a zipper pocket. All right, so this one, I did the measurements. It is adjustable. Um, it fits 33 inches around the waist to 46 inches. So you just need to take a tape measure and measure where on your waist you would wear it. And if it falls between 33 and 46, it'll fit you. So for this one, we're going to do $35. Okay, next up, I did find um, a couple of sack and sack roots. So first one up is sack roots, and it is a really cute little tote bag. It is a fabric, like a nylon. Okay, it is a really pretty bird motif. And you have a snap pocket here in the front, zipper pocket in the back. It's faux leather, actually it might be leather. And you have a very nice, very nice corners and a bottom, excellent on the handles. You have a zipper closure on the top. And then your interior, 
is a tan color with your zipper and your slips. Excellent condition overall. And we're going to do this one for $40. Okay. Then I have the The Sack. This one is a nice brown and dark brown leather shoulder bag. And you have a lot of pockets in this one, guys. So you're ready? So it's leather. It has really nice handles. You have your hang tag here. It does say the sack on the bottom right there. You have a zipper pocket here, side pocket, pouch pocket, side pocket. All right, your corners and bottom are in excellent condition. So now on the interior, you have three sections. So one side back here is blank. Then you have your zippered middle section. The zippered middle section has your um, zipper pocket and slips. And then the other section is blank. All right, so a lot of compartments in this medium sized bag. It is in excellent condition and we're going to do this one for $40 as well. Then we have one more and it is the sack and it is a gold metallic leather, bigger size, more like a large size nice handles. This one you can put a shoulder strap on, but it didn't come with it. Um, but the shoulder, the straps are long enough. Uh, maybe not if you have like a super chunky coat on, but um, it is very nice. It is in good condition. I just didn't stuff it enough, but I used a lot of stuffing for all these bags, you guys. So really nice condition, really nice condition on the handles, zipper closure nice large tote bag you have like a gray interior with the zipper pocket and your slips so super nice oh and your hang tag is right here all right so for this one we're going to do 45 dollars okay then we have a tianello which is a nice tan pebbled leather and this one's cool because you can change the length of the handle right here. So let's go over it first. You have a pocket here, pocket here, zipper pocket here. This one is in super duper excellent condition. Now this, if you wanna change the handle, you twist it and then pull it up, pull it through. Okay, so you can make it a little bit shorter or a little bit longer and then you just pop it back over I thought that was really unique and really pretty and it's in really good condition okay and then it is a zipper closure and your interior has your Tianello on this side with your zipper, nice and clean, and your slips. So nice, sh nice shoulder bag, medium size, um, and this one we're going to do thirty-five dollars. All right, then we had okay. So this one's pretty cool, you guys. This is a coach. It is a crossbody. It is black leather here, and this is gray with red and pink. Here you have your hang tag. This one is called the Coach Horse and Carriage Jacquard, I think it's called. Um, Jacquard, J-A-C-Q-U-A-R-D. I may have mispronounced it. I do that often. Um, but this one, actually, this um, style goes for a lot of money. Way more than I ever imagined when I picked it up. Um, I picked it up because I liked it. So um, we'll go over pricing, but it is in excellent, oh, Dallas hair, excellent condition. You have a pocket here in the front and your top is a, a zipper closure. You have the coach on the little pole right there. There's your interior with your slip pocket. 
All right, super nice, you guys. I really like this one. Um, okay, so on eBay, this right here is selling for over $100 used, okay? Over $100 used. The actual purse, like, you know, handbag versions are like, 150 200 250 used so this is a real like um i don't know if you'd call it rare but definitely a higher price tag item by coach but i'm gonna offer it to you for 65 dollars okay really really nice condition okay then we have the rebecca minkoff this one is so cute you guys I love this color. Isn't this the cutest color ever? It's like a super bright periwinkle. Does that make sense? It's definitely blue. It's coming across on the screen a little darker. Um, so just keep that in mind if anyone purchases this. It is a little bit, a little bit lighter in person. Um, it is leather. And one of the little pulls even still has the plastic on it. Um, there is a teeny little mark right there. You do have a functioning pocket right there. The other side has your Rebecca Minkoff tag. Gorgeous condition. Now, this bag, I bought it and there was no crossbody strap, okay? I searched high and low for a color, this color. Yeah, it's impossible. However, I did find this really cool blue and black, um, like purse strap, you know, um, guitar strap, and it's really trendy to change out your purse straps for guitar straps. So I thought this one matched really nicely, especially with the um, pocket. Like, not that you're gonna have the pocket open, but. So it is adjustable, shoulder or crossbody. You can remove it if you don't like it. Um, and then you have your zipper, zipper opening. And your interior is the same blue and black. See, look at how, it, how good it matches. <laughs> Slips on both sides. All right, so this one's really cute. I like it a lot. Really good condition. It still has the um, plastic around the side here too. And you can lock it. So check this out. You, When the bag is closed, well, it's not really locked. It's like turn lock. That way, if you're, you know, nobody can pick pickpocket you. Okay, and it does say Rebecca Minkoff on there. So now the bag is locked, and now you can open it. So I thought it was really cool. I hope somebody else does, and we're gonna do it for 50. All right, next up we have another one of my favorites of the haul, and it is a Betsy Johnson. Look at this little cutie, isn't it adorable? It is leather, okay, so it is a Betsy Johnson leather. It is yellow, it is a I guess it's a cheetah print. There's your Betsy Johnson. These, this is a functioning pocket on both sides. It is a gunmetal um, hardware. Nice shoulder bag. And it is a zipper closure. Oh, the bottom and everything is really nice. And this one might be hard for me to show you the inside, but we gonna try. So the inside, I did have to clean this bag. I did um, gently hand wash it because the inside was gross. So now it is not gross. It does still have a stain there and there though. I couldn't get that out. Um, you have your zipper pocket there with your Betsy and then your slip pockets there. So a nice cleaned purse. Well, I clean all my purses, but you know what I mean? I hand wash this one. So this one we're going to do for $45. Now we have a Perlina. And this one's a nice 
um, shoulder bag. It is black patent leather. Nice size. If someone doesn't like the big purses, um, it is in super excellent condition. I'm not even sure if anybody even carried it. Um, the corners and everything are great. It does say Perlina right here on the front. You have a little pocket. This zipper section has card slots and then you have a ID spot here and it has the little Perlina card in it still. I can't get that out right now, but okay. And then your main section is zippered. And then you have a nice cheetah print Perlina zipper and slip. Oh, and you do have a big pocket on the back, sorry. Big zipper pocket on the back. So for this one, we're going to do $35. Then we have a coach. So let's bring all you guys over here. Did somebody say spring? Get ready for spring with this coach bag. It is a beautiful mint green leather. <laughs> And it is quite large and it is gorgeous. You do have your hang tag right here. You have coach on the front. You can adjust the handles a little bit. All right, super nice condition, you guys. Hardly any wear. Great on the handles. Um, you can button in the sides to cinch it in like I have it. The color is coming across correct on the screen. It is a zipper closure. And then you have your interior, which has your creed and your zipper and your slips. Excellent condition, clean interior, and we're going to do $60 on this one. All right, then we have this cutie, speaking about getting ready for spring. All right, this is Gianni Bernini, and it is a faux leather, tan. It's actually more of a taupe, crossbody. You can adjust it to be crossbody or shoulder, and it's a nice little size. I love the flower print. It is in super excellent condition. You have the zipper pocket on the front, nothing on the back. Then the top here, you have three separate compartments. So the front here is zippered. Then you have a zippered middle section, which opens up kind of like an accordion. And then you have your back section right there. All right, all zippered sections. And for this one, we're going to do $25. <clears throat> Next up, we have the, I have two backpacks. The first one up is a Rebecca Minkoff. This is a tan, more like a brown chestnut, um, pebbled leather. You have your little handle here. All right, you have these two functioning pockets and it does say Rebecca Minkoff on the hand on the pulls. So you have those two there. You can snap this here, but I don't I wouldn't do that because then your zipper is exposed to everybody behind you. So I would snap it up here. The back has a nice pocket you could put your wallet in so it's against your back nice and safe. There's your Rebecca Minkoff. This is in very good condition. There was just a couple little spots on the corners there. But other than that, she's good. And then your interior has your Rebecca Minkoff with a little slip. And you have slip pockets on that side. Okay, so really nice condition overall. Minor, minor wear. Adjustable straps. And we're going to do this one for $50, five zero.
Next backpack is my favorite, and this is an Amy Kestenberg. It is a black butter leather. It's kind of like a square um, uh, style. Nice big handle. This one is in really nice condition, you guys. So you have your Amy Kestenberg there, butter soft leather. You have a pouch pocket on the back that snaps. Amy Kestenberg there. Really nice condition. Okay, then you're gonna open it up. So it does have a snap on the flap and it is also a zipper closure. The pile of stuffing is getting larger. Okay, so in there it is in, oops, it's in very good condition if I can show you. Then you have a nice pouch pocket here and you have zipper compartment here, okay? Really super cute, love this one. Butter soft leather, Amy Kestenberg, and we're gonna do this one for $55. All right, now we're over here. So we have a coach, another coach. This one is black and gray. It is also quite large, long, I should say. Um, it does have your hang tag. You have two, actually. You have a zipper pocket on this side. Really nice condition. There's just a little bit, maybe a little bit dirty on the corners, but that's about it couple little Dallas hairs. You have um, patent leather handles and a removable patent leather um, shoulder strap. So you have a zipper closure and your interior is blue. Uh, Creed with zipper and slips. Really nice condition, super nice. Nice big size, and we're going to do this one for 65. Flip is the page again, and we're gonna do, okay, this one, this one my mom donated to me. She um, no longer uses it, so she goes, hey Chris, you wanna sell this one in your purse sale videos? I said, sure mom. So <laughs> she donated this. It is a Brighton style. Um, I do believe it is leather, there, um, but it is not Brighton. So it is a little crossbody bag, and you can um, just keep your essentials in it. So it's probably vintage, and that's probably a vintage, like, <laughs> vintage <laughs> phone pocket. But you can put your lipsticks in it if you want. Um, it does have a little bit of wear, like rubbing right here, but not that bad. Same with the front. Okay, really pretty little edges here, woven flap here. It folds down, it has all your card slots. Okay, then your interior. The handles are removable, by the way. You have two zippered sections. Okay. Other zippered section. All right, um, let me see if my phone would fit. It does fit and it does zipper. So a nice honking iPhone 13 Pro Max does fit and you can zipper it, even with a pop socket. So that's always good. So for this one, we're going to do um, $14. All right, next up we have an unbranded purse, but it is made out of an out of African springbok fur. What is a sp springbok? I will put a picture of one right here. <laughs> Look at how cute this is. It is natural fur and leather. 
It is super cute. You have your bottom and corners are in super nice condition. The handles you can adjust a little bit. There are just a couple little, where was it? Flaws on the handle, but it's really nothing major. Okay. Um, it is a zipper closure. And then your interior has your slip and your, I'm sorry, your zip and your slips. Now the tag says South African Springbok fur with leather trim. Lining is cotton polyester blend. Clean with a dampened cloth. Okay, so really unique. I, I really think it's cool. Um, and we're gonna do this one for $60. All right, then we have the Pierre Belmain. Now, I do believe this is vintage. Um, I am unsure, however, if it is real. Um, I did try doing some research on it and I'm unconclusive. So, um, I am not going to, I'm going to sell, sell it as a Pierre Belmain style. Um, it is a shoulder or crossbody bag. I do not think that this is leather. Um, I do, I did see that there are leather ones and then there are not leather ones. So I'm very confused by this brand. Um, but there it is, Pierre Balmain. You have it on the tab, on the pull. You have a back pocket. It is in very good condition. There's just one little, is that a dirty spot or? Yeah, that's just a spot, that's fine. Um, it's not, you know, flawed. Um, and then your interior is zippered. But it does have some marks. And it does say right there, P Pierre Balmain original design. Um, I just couldn't find one exactly like this to compare it to, so I'm kind of unsure. But um, if anyone is interested, I'm only going to do it for $25. Um, this brand bag is, goes up there. So um, it does smell like leather, though. It definitely smells like leather. $25. Okay, next up we have a North Face hat. I did wash this, it is clean. North Face, it is a tan and uh, white cable knit beanie, and then the interior is gray. I did wash it, so don't worry guys, it is clean. And it's unisex one size. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to do $12. Then we have all the littles. We have a nice cheetah pouch. It is a faux fur. Um, there's no branding. I just thought it was really neat, and I really liked the um, uh, lion head pull. And it is a nice big size. It has like a... Uh, rope edge to it it's in very good condition the interior is plain and those are little um like little pieces of the, the the lining that's missing i don't think this is leather but just so you guys know nice pouch and we're gonna do this one for 10 bucks then we have a juicy couture wristlet this is a nice blue faux leather, kind of a large wristlet. Okay, excellent condition. I do think it's new without tag. Um, you have your big pocket in the front and your main compartment. And I say that I think it's new without tag because the pull still has the plastic on it. So you have card slots and your zipper. All right, so really cute, nice, beautiful blue. 
and we're gonna do this one for fourteen dollars all right then we have a coach gold leather wallet it's like a dark gold maybe bronzy leather um, it is used but it is in good condition the back has a couple little light marks on it but overall I think it's really nice okay and then you flip up the little flappy and you have all these card slots I did wipe everything down um, I always wipe everything down so no matter what you guys are getting a bag that you can literally unpack from my packaging and put your stuff right in it and go all right so um you have all these slots beautiful leather you have a, a zipper pocket there okay so for this one we're going to do twenty dollars put you over here then we have a j crew saffiano leather passport holder it is a bright kelly green it does say J. Crew on the back. My passport. This is simple. You put the you know front cover and back cover right in here. Like new condition, and we're gonna do 12 bucks on that. Then we have a Michael Kors black pebbled leather pouch. Great for makeup inside inside your purse. Really nice condition. Zipper closure. Nice pull. And I did clean out the interior. Okay, Michael Kors. This is another way you can tell if a Michael Kors is real. All Michael Kors items will have the, the branding on the lining. Let me show you on the side. See it all? <clears throat> the fake Michael Kors will have just a blank lining and you will not, you also will not have that branding either. Okay. So for this, we will do $18. And then I have, while we're on Michael Kors, I have a Michael Kors belt bag. It is brand new. Now I don't know what this is though. What is this guys? It's not ripped or anything because the strap is perfectly fine nobody's ever even worn this i'm just not sure am i missing something what this is i didn't want to cut it off i don't know i must be missing something but it is brand new it still has the tag it's 78 dollars I'm not charging that, but it is Saffiano leather. It is black and gray. You have your um, zipper closure on the top and your inside is plain. Okay, so if anyone has any clue what this would be, um, but this sizing, so uh, if you put measure the tape measure around your waist where you would like to wear the, let me show you the size reference. Okay, where you would like this to lay, um, it can fit 35 inches to 39 inches. Okay, 35, 35 to 39 inches around the waist. And we're gonna do this one for $28. Okay, then we have a fossil card holder. This is a gray and black uh, snake print leather little card holder. You have a teeny little zipper pocket in the front. You can put cash in it, actually. So there's a spot right there. All right. Really nice condition. Love it. I love little card holders. That's what, what I use. And this one is going to be $12. Then we have the Coach wristlet. This is a beige and gold. Okay, you have your hang tag there. It is fabric. It is in really nice condition. You have the back little pocket. Zipper closure. All right, really cute. Perfect for all your cards. And this one we're going to do $18. 
Okay guys, for the highlight of the video, <laughs> we have, if you caught my short about, um, you know, my haul, some of the things I hauled, you would have caught this. <laughs> so this is a genuine Louis Vuitton wallet. I forget the name of it. It's like a really long name. Um, actually, I have my phone here. Let me let me bring it up because I did do a lot of research on this. It is the Louis Vuitton Damier Port Louis Sara Long Bifold Wallet. <laughs> so. It's been loved, you guys, okay? But I figured let me grab it anyway because I know somebody would love and appreciate and adore it to have this because I know for a lot of people, Louis Vuitton is like unattainable financially wise. Okay, so um, it's got some fading. So you got like a little bit of like the brown and then you got some of the gray up on top. It is faded there, you can see it there. But it does say Louis Vuitton here. The back has the same fading, but it's really not bad. The um, corners, okay, so the corners have a little bit of wear, you see that? This does not snap anymore because, see the little part on the top here? It should look like that, it's not there anymore. However, it does say Louis Vuitton around here. Okay, so you do have a little bit of wear. See that? It's all open. You can use some glue, some, um, you know, fabric glue, if you would like. Um, these are a little bit faded, but they still work. These are not ripped or anything. Then on the interior, your... There's all your Louis Vuitton there. It's a little faded. The serial number, let's see if I can get it to show you guys. Nope. Right there. And it is, it is a little bit torn. Right there. Okay, right there. And then, but this section is really nice still. I don't think anyone even used that section. You have the zippered section in the center, which is super excellent. Usually this section is all um, um, like peeling. There's your Louis Vuitton pull. All right, and then your front section is also in really good condition. All right, so really the main concerned areas, this is a little bit folded. And then the back here has a little bit of the rip here and the same thing on the other side, okay? And then of course it does not stay buttoned. 50 bucks, okay? I think it's still really great and somebody is gonna love this. $50 and it's yours. Okay, so that wraps up the purses. Let me switch them out for some shoes and then we'll get into the America's Thrift Supply okay, Box. Okay guys, remember to check the sold list down in the comment section and refresh the video after you're done watching it so you can get the most up-to-date sold list. All right, so let's keep going. And up first we have a pair of Free People floral leather combat boots. Let me hold up one at a time. Okay, they are size eight. They have these nice laces, but they have the zipper on the back, so you can keep the laces laced all the time if you wanted. They are in excellent condition. They probably were hardly ever worn. Okay, they are size eight with a really cute floral pattern, kind of like a vintagey floral look. Free people, these are going online used for over $120, okay? So remember, I give you guys the best deal that I can. I do comp everything, 
and I try to base my prices cheaper than online. Also, I give you guys the deals versus what I would put them for online. So if nobody purchases these, they would go up for over $120. Um, I do get a lot of people that will ask um, for discounts. Um, is, are my prices firm? Can, I, can they get the items I'm selling for cheaper? No, my prices are firm because I give you guys the better deal than if I was to list them online. So um, like I said, these are selling online used for $120 and over. I'm going to offer them to you for 80 and they are a size eight. Okay, free people. Then we have another pair of combat boots. These are Doc Martens. They are like a gray with a little bit of, I don't know what that white is. I did um, condition these and they have these this like pretty lace um, stitching, I mean laces. The insides are floral and you can fold them down and wear them down. And I think that's what this buckle for is on the back and up here. You can fold them down and then buckle it. These are size seven. All right, good condition. Size seven and these um, I'm gonna do for $65. Again, these go online for way higher. All right, then we have a pair of, where did I put them, right here, Dr. Scholl's. These are a, are these real? No, these are a faux suede, but they are brand new. They are a size eight beige faux suede. Um, they do lace up, but they also have a side zip. All right, and we are going to do these for $25, size eight. Then I have a pair of Michael Kors black patent leather flats with this really cool like brass peace sign. They are in good condition. They are used, but they are in nice condition. These are a size six and a half. And I'm gonna do them for $15. Then I have a pair of Juicy Couture. These could be slippers, or you can wear them you know, out on the street because they do have the rubber soles and these are brand new as well. They are a faux suede cheetah print. You have the um, Juicy all rhinestoned out with gold tone, the nice faux fur in, uh, insole. Okay, these are a size seven and they will be $15. Turn as the page again, and we have a pair of Sperry's. These are leather and uh, calf hair. You have the, the zebra print, the cheetah print, the snake print. The, this is all calf hair leather, um, gold leather laces, really nice condition, little um, loafers or boat shoes. These are a size eight and a half, and we're gonna do them for $20. Then we have a pair of Bach or B-O-C loafers. These are leather as well, they are brown. They are in good condition. They look very comfortable. These are a size eight, right? Yeah, these are a size eight and they will be $20. I have a pair of black leather Lucky Brand flats. Excellent condition, size six and a half. They're all, these are all in excellent condition. I would, you guys, if you guys know me, I do not sell junk and I try to pick out and point out every little flaw that there may be. So size six and a half and $12 on these. 
Then we have a pair of Clarks. These are also in really nice condition. They are a black leather comfort shoe. All right, and these are a size nine. They are the collection um, ultimate comfort. And they do have like a elastic little fitting there. So size nine, really nice condition. Black leather Clarks, $20. Then we have, these are my favorite. I wish these were in my size. These are Michael Kors, and they are patent leather and suede. They are sneakers. They are size six. All right, you have the buckle here and the zipper and laces, so they ain't coming off your feet. <laughs> All right, Michael Kors is MK here, MK here. Uh, Michael Kors is written out right there and of course on the interior all right so size six really stinking cute and oh it's there it's also written up here and we're gonna do these for 25 okay and then last but not least I have these sandals so I have two pairs. They are Comfort View. They are not leather. They are faux leather. They have a little like one and a half inch heel with the beads. I thought they were really cute. They are both size eight. They are used. So I have the coral color, size eight. And then I have a brown color, size eight. Okay, these we're going to do for $15 each, okay? All right, that wraps up the shoes. Let's open up this oh, box. Now, remember, America's Thrift Supply, they have all different mystery boxes. You don't have to wait for certain days of the week. You don't have to keep checking for the launches. However, they do sell out, but you can join the waiting list and when they come back in stock, you will get emailed. So this is the five piece mystery purse box. I believe it's $44.99. Sometimes you get six, sometimes you get seven, depends. So let's open it up and see. And I do still have my 15% off coupon code. Type in Kristen at checkout to save 15%. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what we got. I think I totally missed. Let's see. All right. Yes. Five pieces, $44.99, but then you get 15% off. All right, first looks. Maybe a Vera down there. First up is a white, I don't think this is leather, maybe. It's BCBG Max Azaria. Um, it is, let me see if it's leather really quick. I don't see, oh, here's the tag. Yes, it is leather. Okay, and look what else I found while I was in there. Holy moly. TJ Maxx wants, wanted $200. Um, I don't know what the original price was for the uh, BCBG because the, the price is cut off at the bottom. But TJ Maxx tried asking $200. It is very cute. It is very large. Um, you have a top handle here. Um, there is a little bit of cracking in the edge coat, but it's not too bad. Um, it definitely does need to be wiped down. This is definitely not new. I don't know, maybe it was just stored improperly, but there's definitely some dirt, dirty spots. I will definitely try to clean it as best as I can. There's some dirty spots down there. Um, but overall, I mean, it looks nice on the outside. Let's check out the inside. It is a snap closure. 
and the inside is like perfect. So you have your zipper pocket and your slips and it is very clean in there. So, okay, not bad for the first one up. I will do it for 25 bucks. Ooh, this is cute. Is this a little Betsy? It is. So we have a little Betsy Johnson. It does not have a um, longer handle, but I believe I have a few. So I can add a longer shoulder or crossbody handle if you would like. Um, so just let me know in the email. You have your little unicorn hang tag. It's Love Betsy by Betsy Johnson. You have your little lips, your little lippies. This is in really great condition. This little piece of tape stuck right there. But overall, it's gorgeous. Um, zipper works. Interior is nice and clean. Zipper pocket there. So really nice. So let me know if you want this bag and you email me. Let me know that you want the longer strap, okay? If you don't want the longer strap, this will be $15. If you do want the strap, it's going to be $24. How about that? Not leather, sorry, faux leather. It's faux leather. <laughs> the bag is faux leather, so is the strap. Okay, so that was two. This is three. I believe I've had this exact purse and tried to sell it and nobody wanted it, but we'll try again. So this is a Vera Bradley. Okay, so it's in good shape. There's a little bit of fading right there, but everything else looks good. It's a little dirty on the corners. Um, you have, let's hold it up. You have a nice big zipper pocket in the front two pouch pockets in the back. Um, the handles have a teeny bit of fading. It's really not anything like, you know, horrible. It is a zipper closure on the top and your interior is very clean. Just a little piece of paper right there, but zipper closure, uh, zipper pocket. So this is really nice, good condition, great colors for the spring and summer, even into the fall, really. Um, I'll do this one for 15. So that was three. Here's four. Oh, my arm's hurting. What is this? Oh, this is a Brighton. Okay. So it is like that burlap kind of material. And it says, ciao bella. Okay, that means, you know, hello or goodbye. Beautiful. In Italian. The Brighton hang tag does have some wear, as it always does. There's a little spot there I will try to clean. Fuzz is everywhere. Little spot there I'll try to clean. Nice magnet closure. Patent leather. Looks like it's in good shape. I'm just looking at all like the pearls and stuff. I think they're all here. The interior, you have, you know, nice leather on one side, patent leather on the other side, handles. And then you have the magnet closure here too. And the inside's clean. So you have your Brighton Creed with a pocket and zipper pocket and slips and your zipper pocket there. Key fob, really nice. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to do 25. So that was four. All right, here's number five. And it is, see, no more. Number five is another Vera. This one is a very, um, like, vintage style with the kiss lock. Um, it has, like, longer double handles. It has a paisley print with florals, nice and bright with a black background. You have a pouch pocket on top, no pockets on the back. It is in very good condition on the outside. Um, you have the kiss lock, as I mentioned, on the top. And it's clean on, on the inside. So you have a two pouch pockets here, a zipper pocket. And on the other side, you have a bunch of slip pockets. 
So cute. Okay. Um, 25 bucks. All right, guys. So that was the box. What'd you guys think? I thought it was good. Um, I'm not uh, a huge fan of Vera Bradley's, but they do sell. So I don't mind them. And I liked the BCBG. Hopefully I can get it like really cleaned up for you guys. Um, the Brighton was awesome. And what was the other one? The Betsy Johnson. Yeah. So that was really good. Thankfully I have a whole slew of, you know, shoulder straps, um, that I've collected over time and I've bought from, um, Amazon. So again, let me know if you want that strap in the email when you email me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite purse was down in the comments section. Uh, give me that thumbs up. Remember to refresh the video, go out, come back in so you get the most up-to-date sold list. Check that out before you email me. All my information is always down in the description box. Again, thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again for watching and we will see you in the next one.